Hey, hey YouTube, what is up? I've been looking at the Zodiac deck now that we have this new ban list, and I've been trying to find a way to make this deck work. I've been looking at some old combos that I knew of, and I'm trying to reintegrate them into this new deck. And I actually think I found one that works pretty well if you decide to play Zodiac True Dracos. This combo is actually very strong. It involves Raid Raptors and Black Wings as well, which is pretty spicy in my mind. All you need to really make this combo work is a Rat Pierre in hand because you need to normal summon the Rat Pierre that is in your hand. You need a Dragonic Diagram because it's going to search out your Masterpiece and your way to summon your Masterpiece. And any way to special summon a level 4. That could be Zodiac Barrage, which is what I'm using for this example, but you could pretty much use any way to get a level 4 on board. Brilliant Fusion, Dump Trick, Clam, pay a thousand special summon it, that's fine. Any way to get another level 4 monster on the board works completely, even Summoner Monk. So without further ado, you're going to normal summon your Red Pierre to get this combo started and dump yourself a Whiptail. Now, a lot of people would probably put Ram Ram in this situation, but we actually need Ram Ram later, so we're going to dump Whiptail now because we need a level 4 in the graveyard. This could be any Zodiac, it doesn't have to be Whiptail. On top of that, you're going to use Zodiac Hammer Kong to special summon another Rat Pierre from deck after you special summon it itself on top of Rat Pierre, giving you another monster on the board. Now here's where it's a little non-linear. You're going to make Broad Bowl and search the Ram Ram that I mentioned previously. Ram Ram is really important to have in hand because we also happen to have Dragonic Diagram in hand, and I think you guys know how those two cards interact with each other. So now that we have Ram Ram in hand, I'm just going to update you guys. The hand should consist of your way to special summon a level 4, in this case Zodiac Barrage, Dragonic Diagram, and a Ram Ram. We're going to do some spicy stuff following this play, which I really like. This is the moment where you're actually going to need to special summon another level 4. We're going to use the Zodiac Barrage, popping itself, setting itself to the graveyard instead of under Broad Bowl. Just out of personal preference, I like to have extra abilities with Masterpiece, and this just puts another Continuous in the graveyard. We're going to use Barrage to special summon any level 4 Zodiac. I just chose Thoroughblade because it was the quickest. Now we're going to overlay these two into Raid Raptor Force Tricks, using Force Tricks' effect to detach to search, to add a Winged Beast to our hand. In this instance, we're going to add the Blackwing Zephros. This card is very integral to the combo, and you do need to run it at one. You can't really get around it. The benefit is, though, if you draw it, you actually don't need to make Force Tricks. So if you open this card with Diagram, you can just add Ram Ram to hand and have this entire combo, and you don't need to make the extra level four, so you don't need the extra monster on the board. This is what your hand should consist of currently, Ram Ram, Zephros, and Dragonic Diagram, and it should be obvious what we're going to do from here. We're going to use Diagram, destroying the Zephros in our hand, to search ourselves a masterpiece. I apologize for the proxies, by the way. My card just didn't come in the mail. It's pretty funny that I have the $100 card, but, you know, I don't have the $10 or $2 cards. Either way, we're going to search ourselves a masterpiece, and we're going to have it in our hand. Zephros has a very special effect in that if it's in the graveyard, it can special summon itself from the graveyard by bouncing any card on the field to our hand. So I think you can see what's going to happen. We're going to use Zephros' effect to send Diagram back to our hand, and then we're going to special summon Zephros. This gives us our extra level 4 on the board, and we're going to get Dragonic Diagram back in hand so we can reactivate it. The Dragonic Diagram is not a hard once per turn. It's as many copies as you have in your hand, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to reactivate Dragonic Diagram a second time, and this time we're going to use its effect to pop Ram Ram in our hand. Ram Ram is going to trigger and special summon the card that we dumped with Zodiac Rat Pierre way back at the start of this combo. As for the Dragonic Diagram, what we're going to search off that, we're going to search any of the True King True Drago spells that allow you to have an extra tribute summon. It doesn't have to be this card specifically, but it does give you an extra normal summon, and that's why we're searching it. So we're going to add that to hand and activate Ram Ram in the grave like I mentioned before, special summoning our Whiptail. At this point, you can exceed these two into Digusto Emerald to basically get a free draw. You can recycle whatever cards you want back into your deck. I'm just putting the two rats into my graveyard to make it quicker, but you could send any of the three cards in your graveyard back except for Hammer Kong. You want to keep Hammer Kong in your graveyard because we're going to extend this play just a wee bit further. Either way, I chose to send these three cards back just for the sake of the example and then you draw one card. So this is what your graveyard should look like currently. As for your hand, you have these two cards in it that we searched, the two other cards from the beginning, and the extra draw from Digusto Emerald. So currently, we still have a five-card hand. 
At this point, you're going to use Chalk and Nine, detaching Broad Bowl to special summon your Hammer Kong to the field. Eh, it's a little crowded. I'm going to move it to the middle just for uh, just for the sake of this example. You're going to use Tiger Mortar to detach Chalk and Nine and put it under Hammer Kong. And then I'm going to move it now. Don't be confused. It's just going to go right here. For the sake of the example, I forgot that there was a lot of glare. You're going to use Tiger Mortar's effect, putting the material under Hammer Kong, and then Hammer Kong, because its effects are negated by Chalk and Nine, doesn't have to detach in the end phase. We now have a Raid Raptor with a material, a Degusto Emerald with a material, and a Tiger Mortar on the field. You're going to end this by putting a Dryden on top of it, and we can go even further from here. This is when you're going to activate the true Draco card that gives you an extra normal summon, whichever one you decided to search. You're going to activate it and use its effect to give you an additional normal tribute summon this turn, tributing your Raid Raptor Force Tricks because it's no longer needed, and the continuous face-up spell card, and you're going to summon a Masterpiece. So now you have a Masterpiece that is immune to monsters and spells, two continuous spells in the graveyard, a Zodiac Dryden that is protected by Hammer Kong next turn, and three other cards in your hand. So this combo is actually very, very strong. The Hammer Kong doesn't have to detach, like I said, because it's negated. And if your Digusto Emerald lives till next turn, you're going to recycle your materials and you're going to get an additional draw. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you really enjoyed it, don't forget to click subscribe because it's free, it's fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.